Yo, what's up guys, Exhibit here, and today I'm bringing a tutorial or just a little tip on the importance of making sure all your clips are recorded in 59.94 frames per second. That goes for if you're an editor or a player because editors don't want to deal with 29.97 clips and I'm going to show you why. So basically, most like montages or edits will use Twixter, which is basically rendering more frames to make something appear slower so like that's what all the slow mo that's basically the most slow motion like program that all editors use i don't know anything else that's out there but basically if you have there's a chance if you use 29.97 that you'll get multiple frames and if you have multiple frames that record like i'm gonna find one right here 38 and 39 okay 37 okay 36 37 Okay, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 38. 39 and 38 are the same. If you can't see that. See, there's no change there. So 39 and 38 are the same. So that causes a problem for Twixter because it doesn't know how to read multiple frames. It doesn't know what to do with that extra frame. So we're just going to add Twixter and I'll show you what I mean. So if I have 29.9, okay, it says 29.97 right there. So I know the clip is 29.97. If I want to change the speed down to 5, I'm just going to preview this. Okay, hold up. No, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. I need to turn down this quality. Hold up. I'm messing up, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so it's going to look blurry, but you don't really need to see it that well to be able to see what it does. But basically, see how it, like, stops and starts? That's what happens when you have multiple frames. So it doesn't know how to read when it gets to the multiple frames, so it just makes it really choppy. So basically, I, you can go frame by frame and take out every multiple frame, but that's just too much work so all I have to say is make sure that your project is a 59.94 project and I'm just gonna show you guys a 59.94 project so I'm just gonna find something I recorded that's 59.94 um, where would I have something I'm just gonna assume I have something in here I'm pretty sure I have something on this. That's 59.94. Okay, yeah, this is 59.94. So then, I'm just gonna go to a random place that I think I'll have gameplay if I can find any. Okay, right here. So I'm just gonna split this, and go all the way over. So since this is 59.94. I automatically had my project set to 29.97 because I knew I was working with one. So I'm going to switch my frame rate to 59.94 so it matches this clip. So everything should be smooth with this. So now I'm going to show you what happens when you add Twixter to this. So I turn the speed down to 5. Make sure the frame rate is 59.94. And then we'll preview this. I'm gonna just do a RAM preview real quick. Just let this load up. Any second. But yeah, that's really smooth right there. See, for 59.94, you won't have multiple frames and everything records smoothly. So you don't have to worry about having choppy Twixter. So. I hope that answers some questions with why people have Twixter issues. I don't really know how to go that more in depth with it, but just basically make sure you record in 59.94, and if you don't know how to do that, I'm pretty sure I could help you guys. So if that's an issue, just leave a comment or something, and I'll maybe, I'll maybe make a tutorial on that. But anyways, for now, guys, peace out.